Welcome to Comonix. We wanted to share some of our story with you from our early days until today. This typewriter was Tony Teals, the founder of Comonix as we know it today. From 1972 to 1976, he was chief of party of the USAID-funded Afghanistan Fertilizer Distribution Project. At the time, one of the subcontractors was called Comonix Industries and was ran by a gentleman named Frank Pfeffer. Tony approached Frank about an idea of starting a global development practice. Frank, in fact, liked the idea so much that he took him up on it. And from there, Comonix International Consulting Division was born in July 1975. The Comonix story goes back even further. Comonix Industries, originally known as the Arizona Fertilizer Company in 1929, had been working for decades on the expansion of agricultural production in the United States. That knowledge of agricultural production was the cornerstone of our involvement in international development as we began growing and taking on new projects all around the world. I joined Comonix International in 1980. Back then there were only 12 people. It was small, it was chaotic, but we had fun. We started out as a development consulting firm because our founder, Tony Teal, had the vision to create a consulting firm to achieve development impact, one client, one project at a time. He also took a chance and opportunity on people, and I was a beneficiary of that. At the end of the first week, he asked me to go to Cairo and to do a G2. So he loaded me up with a typewriter that was high tech back then and was off to Cairo. The first person I talked to was a friend of mine, Ashraf Rizik. He helped me do some research for the proposal and later, I was surprised. We won. I arrived in Cairo and worked with Ashraf on the startup. He impressed everyone, and later on, he was hired by Tony Teal to become a management expert, and later on became our second president and CEO, and he's now the current chairman of the board. The company grew considerably from 1980s to 1999, from having a handful of projects in Mali, Haiti, Egypt, and Afghanistan, to taking on projects around the world, and in many different technical sectors. On April 1st, 1999, we started our first step in Tony's vision towards being the 100% employee-owned company that we are today, becoming fully independent of early industries and Chemonix International, as we know it today, was established. Chemonix is an organization that hires people who are passionate. Some are passionate about protecting the environment, others about empowering women, and others about compliance. But overall, we're all passionate about making sure our projects make a positive impact in people's lives. We work in projects in Latin America and the Caribbean, Africa, the Middle East and North Africa, Asia, Europe and Eurasia. Our team is comprised of the best and brightest technical experts around the world. Here at Comonix, we believe that those who have the least deserve our best. We believe that international development is not just a passion, it's not just something you're interested in, it's actually a profession. So it means it takes ingenuity, it takes skill, it takes the stubborn persistence that we will be better tomorrow than we are today. 